right guys i'm playing i'm playing call of duty and then it's walls on mobile this is on the samsung samsung galaxy z fold 5 uh it's affordable and uh the bluetooth uh, controller with the ones with the like, glowing buttons that's actually called the bsp uh bsp dash nine uh dash three sorry it's a bsp dash d3 uh, but what I'm actually using is a DualSense controller. I'm using this, which is a PS5 gamepad. And I'm actually using, I'm going to be using this later on to play Fortnite Mobile and Fortnite from the Game Pass. Right, uh, if you don't tap on uh, where, where it says play again, it's not going to uh, log you back into the game. You'll have to then, it'll bring you back to the menu and then you have to log back into another game. Uh, the main reasons why I like Mosh Pit and not Team Deathmatch is because Mosh Pit comes with four game modes. Comes with Kill Confirmed, that's one where you have to grab the tags. Comes with Team Deathmatch, the basic one where you just uh, kill the opponents, just uh, eliminate the opponents, you don't need to get tags. And then it's got uh, Domination, that's when you've got those uh, play uh, locations where you need to capture. And then it's got Hard Point, that's the one we were playing where you have to go to it. And then someone stays there while the other t the other people on the team, uh, they have to go around eliminating the other dudes so they don't actually try and take the hard point. I mean that that's that's how it's mostly played. Most people, some people will just stay in a group, but uh, the disadvantage of doing that is imagine if someone on the other side notices that you guys are moving around in a group. If they've got proximity mines, let's say they're not able to get close enough to you, even if they're using smoke grenades. Then the next best option is to use grenades and if they've got a loadout with grenades uh, your your team is finished either they'll smoke if they want to they throw a tear gas or if they feel like it which i think they would do is they they may uh just opt they may opt for the grenades and the smoke grenade and i think the other thing is oh, what the hell this guy dead you know, I was wondering. Ah, oh, he's alive again. <laughs> I like to come in here and hide. Oh no! So, um, the the other thing is, the other thing is, I I have to say is, um, wait, where's this dude gone? The other thing I have to say is, if if you use a smoke grenade, it's not always a bad thing, because what the smoke grenade's gonna do is, uh, cause a diversion, right? So imagine the diversion is caused and then they, they automatically uh, don't know what's going on, you know? If they don't know what's, what's happening, then uh, with the diversion, you can, you can actually throw grenades into there and kill the entire squad, you know what I mean? So if they're defending that as a group, then you can use that to your advantage. Just um, throw a smoke grenade first just as a like a diversion so they don't know what's going on and then obviously throw in the the main thing which is the grenade and get all of them i'm saying because some groups do work as a team and they don't realize that that's actually a bad thing because if you all together then imagine someone like me or someone else who understands this game better will just throw a grenade in there you don't even need to throw the smoke grenade but if you want to get everybody and they're holding that place, then obviously you don't want them to move, right? And if they do notice the grenades coming at them, some people may jump out of the way. So if you want to cause a bit of confusion, that's why I said you'd end up throwing the grenade. Oh my God. So throwing the, the, the grenade doesn't uh, always mean you're going to get the, the entire crew. Because you might throw a grenade and someone notices it and throws it back at you. You understand? But if you throw a smoke grenade, then people will will react a bit slower, isn't it? So they won't know what's going on. And by the time it hits them, that oh, this guy's throwing a grenade, it's too late for them. You understand? That's I, it's just my strategy. I I do the smoke grenades uh, with the uh, proximity mines because by the time they they realize there's a proximity, it's too late for them. They don't know where it is. One, the smoke grenade, they can't see at the bottom. They can't see the ground. All they can see is me or me running away and they're trying to get to me and the advantage of the proximity mine is once you move that uh, it flies up in the air and then it gets you you know what i mean so i'm just saying it's it's it just depends with your play style 
and how you want to play the game man this this is like really kind of slow you know i think <laughs> i think what's happening with this game the popularity of this game must be there so a lot of people are probably talking about this game a lot on youtube i think that's what's going on and then you know what's going on i i think a lot of these mainstream players who are now tired or a bit bored of call of duty uh because most all they do in mostly is just playing uh warzone isn't it so they, they might decide well let's play the mobile version and see what that's like and i think that's what's happening these days it's like you're getting these pro players these these much you know because they realize that they've got mad skills that they can bring to this game and then they use their skills you know because obviously if i can use a gamepad they can definitely use a um they can definitely use a uh, keyboard and mouse, isn't it? Think about it. <laughs> the guy, the guy behind me. I'm wondering, like, oh wow, damn it. No, the guy, the game is fun, but it's just like it's kind of frustrating a bit. Oh look, the guy was waiting for me. He was waiting for me to turn. But like I said, I think with this game, it is more beneficial to to play this, like. A lot more like if you're not doing anything in your house just chilling in, you know what I mean just just play the game for fun like if you can just play this game for fun you know what I think I should do in this game I think this loadouts need to be changed no I mean the the tear gas is good but it did, you see right there it disrupted me as well so I couldn't react to that person who was with me oh damn See? Proximity mine got me and whoever that dude was. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> you know, by the time you by the time you actually want to react, it's too late. Oh my god. <laughs> He's jumping, I'm jumping, he can't even get me. Ah this game. This game is ah damn. Look at that. I'm shooting, I can't get anybody. I'm trying my best. Um, I need to change the loadout. Like like I was saying in the other video, um, when I was playing with my backbone. I feel like I feel like the problem I feel like the problem is if you don't play a game for X amount of time, you start to forget about it a bit more. Oh wow. So what I'm thinking of is like the loadout at the moment isn't impressing me very much. You know what I think? Just throw these grenades sometimes. You might get kills. You won't even know where the people are at. Look at them. <laughs> They're wondering like, where did the grenades come from? Oh yeah, you see? They had a helicopter in the air. Despite not performing to our best, we still, I mean, that wasn't bad, was it? Like 13, just 13 points. They had a helicopter the whole time. So that's why I'm saying this game, I think you really need to Play it, play it, play it consistently, you know. But the one thing, I got 24 kills, got 10 assists, uh, died 20 times. Wow, I died more times than I actually won. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I need to go back into my loadout. Because I told you guys I'm not happy with what I've got. Um, this doesn't reflect what I've got on my uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. The, ga the guns are different. Uh, that's one thing I've got to tell you guys because I think a lot of people are like, oh, maybe, maybe you've got no, the the guns that I use are totally different, and you know you need to swap the walls on to multiplayer. So this one and this one, what's this thing? What are these? I need to check on this. So this is the Ram Seven, and I'm just wondering why these guns don't perform properly, man. You know, it's like. I don't know. If, I don't even know what to say about these. These these let you down. Let me down quite a bit. Like they they don't perform uh, the same way. Like I just end up going into these kind of different things to do. Right. I'm gonna remove the scopes actually. Saying it's changing. I'm changing something. Oh, it's got 50 rounds on it. Nice one. All right. So I'm just looking looking through it. You can only have. Uh, you can only have uh, five things you can do to your gun. It's got under barrel, magazine, stock, hatchet, light stock, and then it says barrel. 
Right, so what I want to add to this is a laser. And then you're going to probably think, what do you need a laser for? Uh, it depends on the laser that you go for. Because some of these lasers do um, actually re reduce uh, recoil, you know, when the gun's shooting upwards, so it reduces that. And some of them all actually help with accuracy and handling, like this one does. But some of them are like lights, you know, when they, when they flash, they actually block the person who's trying to shoot you. And then he can't actually see you properly. But I, I think it's this solar flare. Now, the problem with this one is it doesn't help with um, a recoil. So that's why... I'm not saying you got to do this. You don't have to do this. You can do, you can stick with whatever you want to do. I told you guys I use poison frogs and I always go for the this option. I like the color. I think uh, the fact that the the guns are also like darker helps in the in the game. I don't know what a gun screen does. I'm going to select. Yeah, I, I got this one now. And then I'm going to select this one. All right. So. I didn't go into am ammunition. Wait, does it have, oh, it's got ammunition as well. Let's see, high, low grain, armored, fragile, over pressured. Uh, let's see what they do. It says range, uh, no, no, wait. I think it's not getting me on what I want to do. I'm looking for the one that's got, so it's the fragile and over pressured. Those are the ones that do the most damage. But then that means removing something from the gun. And that, this is why I said to you guys last time, the problem with this game or with the, with the way I'm playing this uh, game now is that I just feel like some, some of these guns aren't doing it for me. And you know what? I'm going to stick with the original, this one. Now, if you're going to wonder why not stick with the molten lava one, uh, because I think I don't actually need that one. I think that one... There's certain things you can do with the game that you cannot do all the time. You understand? So uh, I'll explain in a minute. Like, for example, if you take those molten lava ones, you can't actually have a, um, a laser light. And I think with this gun, with this, this gun, you do need to have that laser. Yeah, I'm going to select this one. Uh, this one you do need, you definitely need the laser with this one. Uh, why would you need the laser? I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. This one, what's this one? Laser light. I'm going to go with this one at first. Uh, I selected that rear grip. So you can only select five options. So I've got the magazine. Let's see. The ammunition. Armor piercing. Nice one. You see? So three, four. So I can only go for a fifth one. But, uh, oh yeah, yeah, the scope. So the scope I like to use with this one is the original scope that it actually comes with. What's this one? This is weird. It says uh, Jack Blue Eye. Also, it's not it's not this one. That's handling range accuracy. I just want to see. It says Jack Blue Eye. Right, so I'm going to go for the appearance. I already told you guys I use Poison Frogs. Uh, I also do this with my main game. Uh, on um, My main game, which is the one uh, uh, Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare. So I do the same. This says, uh, first of all, arrival. Or oh, celestial, celestial arrival. And then, uh, what's this? Elder Shores. Uh, or should I just go for the 8-bit ghosts? It's just I don't like going all the way down all the time. Right, so why am I changing the guns now? Be like I said, these, these guns are just a pain. And every time when I do change something, I like to change the name XR. So that was Ibis. And then there you go. And then now I know it's different. So if I go into here, I know what's going on. I'm going to go to the Claymore one. This shotgun is not bad. And, you know, I don't want to put the blame on the shotgun thing. And this gun is not bad either. This is liquid hot. I think it's like um, Hemlock. I think this gun is good. This loadout, they, they're both fire, you know. I'll show you the, the shotgun as well. It's uh, they, The only things I removed on these ones probably was the scope on the other one. Uh, this has got Claymore. I'm going to swap that out for this one, for the proximity mine. Uh, so this one's got, I think the bullets on this are the um, reinforced. They can go through barriers, you know. So I'm going to leave that as it is, but that one I need to remove it. And I'm actually going to select, uh, with this one, I'm going to select the smoke grenade. So I want to have the smoke grenade at least everywhere. Uh, so this one... Right, I need to change this to, uh, let me just say, 
uh, hot than guns. Why well, I'm saying hot guns? Because both of them uh, have fire in them. So I don't know what else to call them. And then this one, I just leave it as flare. Hot caution. So what's this one? Hot caution. That's the MCW. Right. So this MCW is not bad. It's not a bad weapon. But I still want to do some changes. Uh, MC Black Hot Caution. You know what? I'm going to remove that scope. I, I don't hate scopes, guys. I just, <laughs> you know, I just find that sometimes this uh, this entire thing would just be better off if, um, if you know, just keep it to a minimum. Like, you don't, you don't need to have all these weird things with the guns. Sometimes even the scope you're using is what's holding you back. Right, so this one can definitely put a scope on it, under barrel, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, scope. This is stock. What's this one? Right, so most of these did come with a weapon. Uh, this one, I didn't think that I needed a scope with it. Uh, the problem, I think, is the scopes themselves. Range and accuracy. It says Halo. What's this one? Battle. Uh, battle optic. All right, let's see. What's this one like? Like a circular thing. This one, I think, came with this, uh, those scope-like things. That doesn't look too bad, does it? But I'm going to go with the halo. Oh, it wants me to remove some. Yeah, remove the back piece. Going to go with this. Going to change. Okay, so this one, did it, did it actually change anything? All right, I'm going to go with that. It, it just doesn't look, doesn't look like it changed the camo much, you know? I'm using a Celestial Arrival. And like I said, I don't want to keep going all the way down. This is boring. I just select the first thing, which is 8 bits. And that's it. So this one, I'm not really changing much. I think I took the scope off this one. Uh, let's see, what scope did I put on this one? Let's see what other scopes it's got. Yeah, let's go for this one. You know, it's the same scope I've got on the other gun. So I didn't change much in this. I'm going to leave... I do not want gas grenade. Uh, like I said, I want smoke grenades. I think smoke grenades have more beneficials. The more beneficial. Sorry. This one. This says it's got no optic. That's weird. Let's see on the ammunition. Uh, hardened, fragile, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's weird. So how come it does uh thing? Oh, yeah. Can I get the blue eye thing? Do you want me to remove something? Let's see. Yeah, let's remove the thing. Actually, you know one thing. What if I remove the barrel? Elite strike or barrel, long barrel. Let's see what other barrel can you get. Mobility accuracy. I'm going to go for this one instead. Right. I'm, I'm just basically like changing anything in here that I can change. I'm not going to be mentioning everything I'm doing. I just want to do this as quickly as possible because the loadout stuff in here takes a while. I was using gas grenades, tear gas grenades, but they, it's a waste. Like I said, I'd rather just use the, the basic one. Let's see, which gun is this one? I'm thinking this is the one with fire, right? Fire one. I'm thinking that's one. Let me just swap these things out. Yeah, I was right. That's the one. Uh, I don't like going all the way to the back, so I'm just going to swap these out. Let me just swap this. Just gonna put something else on that one. I I just I just thought of the name. I knew that that, that one was gonna be like that. The cast off. I don't want to add anything to cast off. I think cast off on its own. It speaks volumes. This thing does do a lot of damage. You don't need a scope with this thing. I think putting a scope on this definitely will just be slowing it down. You, you know what I mean? But it's got barrel things on it. I'm just wondering if these. What's this thing? Recoil. Okay. Uh, but I need to take something off. So if I remove the laser. I'm going to remove the laser. I'm going to add this. I just want to see what the differences are going to be. You understand? Because like I said, the guns at the moment are my biggest issue with this game. Uh, with, the, with the iPhone one, I, I went through trial and error with those ones. So... I went through quite a bit of trying to get um, 
those guns the best way I could get them. You understand? So I, I, I probably spent a little bit more time on those than I ever did on these ones. Right. So let me go. Attachments. It says lasers now available. Let's see. Ah, it's now as a laser. It didn't have laser before. Let's see. I'm a, is there any armor piercing on this? What's this one? Hardened. I like p picking the ones that have got damage on them. I'm going to pick that one. No, it's, I mean, that's the only thing that's available on it. So, obviously, I'm only picking what it's giving me. The, is that one good? Of course, that's an Uzi. The, the, of course, that, that's going to do a lot of damage. I'm actually going to... No, no, you know what? I'm going to go for Semtex on this one. I'm going to select Semtex. And, uh, like I said, I don't... I don't know why I was using tear gas in the first place. The, you know the tear gas, like I told you guys, it's it's not it's never a good idea to to have that. Wait, I need to swap to multiplayer. It's never a good idea to have that. Let's see where was I? Was I on this one? All right, let's see nine millimeter. I'm gonna swap this one to smoke grenade. I hope I'm giving you guys some ideas. That's incision. I'm pretty sure with this one. Yeah, let me just swap these uh, things out. Uh, no, th this one is a good gun. It's pretty good. I don't see a problem with this gun. This is a very good gun. Uh, it 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 does cause a lot of damage. That gun. This is molten thingy black star. I want to swap this one out. I'm going to use the same gun. I'm going to show you now, but I'm going to use the original gun. And you're gonna be wondering like why are you going for the OG? The OG, the original is the only one that's going to allow you to have it's the one that's going to allow you to have um like the laser lights and all of that other stuff and also the armor piercing rounds. If you try and use the other one, it's not gonna give you the armor piercing rounds. And I'm trying to get I think it's this one, which is the one. Yeah, that one. That one's got a light to it. And then let's see where we go from here. I'm always using the long barrel. But I want to see... You know what? I'm going to use this one instead. I just want to see the differences. You understand? It's uh, For me, it's, it's not really what everyone else is doing. But it's uh, for me, it's just to see the differences. I know it, it's probably saying that you won't get good handling and all of that stuff. But if it's going to cause more damage to the person who's in front of me, then that's an ace to me because that means less work. Am I gonna put a scope on this thing? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. No, I can't put a scope. If I put a scope, you lose something else. It's the same thing with court mobile. You you lose something. That's got grenades, so I'm gonna leave the grenades. This one, I think this one is the, the best gun I have. You know, it's it's weird for me to say this, but it's actually the better gun that I've got. Right, so let's see, what's this one? Recoil right okay i'm gonna leave it as it is that's the um, what does this thing mean recoil i want to see what these other ones do because some of these are not beneficial you know right, how about this one i'm gonna select that one i'm just gonna leave it as it is uh that's the grenade thingy I'll go smoke grenade and this has got same text. I'm actually going to go for uh, proximity mine. You'll notice one thing that I always go for those things. Oh, all right. Val, this is the Val 46. Da, 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 da. Just want to see if there's anything I could add in this. Hollow point. Da, 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 da. All right, let me just go. I'll just change out the, the, the these sticker things. I mean, there's nothing much I can change in here. It's It's got the 60 rounds on it. You know, the the ammo thing's got the magazine. Oh, it's a 45. I think the other one will be slightly more. The thing about these guns is that if you don't use them, then you it will not, like, allow you to upgrade them. You understand? So even if you're not using them in certain matches or if you're not doing anything with these uh, loadouts, I don't know if you guys know this because maybe it's just me saying this, but uh, if you do not use the guns, they won't upgrade because they go in levels. So if you don't use a gun for whatever reason, and then you're wondering, oh, it's it's not it's not like performing, it's not performing because you don't use it. 
and it's not going to go a higher level if you don't do anything with it that's that is how this is you've got to use the weapon or the loadouts in in some matches that you play because if you don't it is going to do what it needs to do and uh, then obviously you're not going to be able to get the benefits of the gun because it's just going to sit there doing nothing it's what i'm saying is it doesn't level up it will not level up that's that's how it is i know it's kind of boring and you're thinking well that's not fair well that's how it is i need to change this calling card thing i don't like this thing let's see uh, right, let's put this dude there i'm pretty sure i've got more calling cards on this one than i've got on the other uh, iphone one but the iphone one the calling cards are nice i do like the calling cards on that one gonna put this one there and with this now you need to go all the way down because if there's anything new in here then it's obviously gonna be at the bottom see you start seeing all your like the really nice calling cards all the new stuff i don't you know i wish what they would do is like put all the new stuff at the top and then you don't have to scroll down with you get me these are a bit old Come on, I'm pressing on it. How does he want me to press on this? Like really hard. Yeah, I'm gonna. You see, all the new new calling cards will be at the bottom. I know it's it sounds a bit ridiculous, but that's how it is. If you want any of your new stuff, you need to scroll all the way to the bottom, and this is how you're gonna get your stuff. Oh, what happened? Oh my God. <laughs> I dropped, I dropped my juice sense. I think that's that's uh, the juice sense may have moved. That's a pity. Right now, I have to do this all over again. All right, let me go to the. Let's go all the way to the bottom. This will, you see, it's just quicker if I flick it through. Because otherwise, it's gonna be here forever. I just want to swap them out. They don't have to look as good or anything like that, but I need them to be different. You just kind of drag and drop them. Uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, let's see. I just need one more. Uh, yeah, I'll just grab this thing. You just grab and drag them. And that's it. Whatever you place there will be the one that you're using. So I'm going to use this one. And then this thing, I need to swap that one out as well. The emblem thing. It takes a bit of time to load. I want to kind of copy the one, like the one I'm using on mine. I think the one I use on the iPhone is also nice. So let's see. I don't think I've got the same thing on this one. I'll just use one of the prestige ones. Let's see. Da, 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 da. This guy's not wide open. Let's use this dude. So it's a prestige. Because that's, I think I do have something like that on my... Um, right. I'll be playing Mosh Pit in the next video, guys.